I went the wrong way for one of the marks and had to load an autosave, but the autosave was actually a bit far back, so we're still opening coffins. But I had noticed that one of the things that I scanned was for an oxygen cylinder that I can actually make. Compensator. Thick electrical tape for it, though. The compensator, I don't know if I can make yet. I'm not sure. Alkali. I can get that real quick, because there was... Just outside the ship. And I think this side, a bit of alkali to mine. But like I went over the rocks over here, I think you have to go under rocks or something like that. Like it's at the end of a really long tunnel inside the rocks or something. I don't know. Oh, grab her for that. What? Oh, okay. Uh. Well, fuck me then, I guess. Never mind. I don't think I can make a grabber. I think I'm lacking the aluminium for it. Maybe, though. We'll see. What do we got? We have one aluminium. Is that enough? Need a battery. Okay. And now the large candles make sense. I thought we'd be getting this a bit later. Didn't notice we had gotten it, again, with so much dialogue going on all the time, always, and then cutting themselves off because, oh, I have to make another joke about this thing. It's difficult. It's really, really difficult. So that's that. I need another coffin, which I think is over here. There are also more things to bash open. Uh, Up here, I think. I bashed these open last time, haven't this time. Don't know what they had, but I want it, whatever it is. Not even sure if I got the... Uh... Body box. Coffin. That's the one. Don't even know if I got the coffin up here. Apparently not. So I've got... The scrapper. A spare scrapper. The repair tool, the master key, I don't know why I need to master key stuff, another scanner I might need. So there, 3 durability, 7 durability, 10 durability total. Okay. If you want to open more coffins, there's a chance that I'll be able to detect new potentially useful debris while my anti-vandal program scares you with criminal liability. So coffins can give us markers, I guess is what it's getting at. Took it a while, but we got it. But yeah, I went over to this guy, but like apparently the game just doesn't autosave anymore. So it threw me like not only the way back. Protection protocol, but also entirely by accident. I repeat, entirely by accident. Crack the data block, which I had insufficient privileges to access. And this but thing I have to go like underneath to get over to, I thought. Unfortunately, even when threatened with a drill, I wouldn't have enough power to decrypt it. You would need some military equipment here. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess not. Okay, maybe we just go to those ones first then? Because I don't know how to get to that guy. Because I went over the rocks before, but it seemed like the rocks just never ended. And we we're going way past the marker. And I was like, okay, I missed a cave or something. I'll just load an autosave because it autosaves every time I go into the ship. It doesn't autosave every time you go into the ship. It doesn't autosave when you complete a task. I don't know what triggers it. But it threw me way back, so I had to play a bit of catch-up, which has annoyed me a little bit more. Ugh. It's okay, though. We can investigate all this. It looks like it's a nice, nice area to go into anyway. Look at all the stuff floating around. resin again. Uh, I could get a little, oh. I could get a little more resin. With, yeah, this rod. Dude, all these tools look the same too, like I don't fucking know. I wish developers would play their own games sometimes so they can, can like, kind of notice these things, because there's no way they don't notice. There's no way. 
Anybody who plays this game will be bumping into these problems. Like, it doesn't take very long. It's unbelievable. The incompetence that there is in this so far. Like, holy shit. There's been some things I just don't understand how anybody could have made that mistake. Or noticed it, or anything. Just some headphones, okay. Just another joke. I always thought of them as useless equipment, but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll, it makes me start to respect them. The trash ball mostly consists of electrical tape. So these are cool then, I guess. I guess so. Garbage ball. Stuff. Okay, so that's the new source of stuff, I guess. And a massive tape. Whoa. Of course, I can't harvest it or anything. That's just there to laugh at and be like, oh, look, huge balls of tape. It's very funny. Such supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner. <sighs> I could have brought the big Just candles, I suppose. The roles, there was a fire in the engineering modules, but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster. I guess I go back for for the big rolls. Empty! So there's just a chance for them to give you a new mark then. I suppose is what it was getting at. Some more evidence of the fire in the modules. Apparently the fire had spread even to the habitation modules. Okay. I'm going to go back for better oxygen candles and stuff because... I forgot to grab those, and these are pretty far away. I've made a bunch more oxygen candles, large ones, and if I can't make it to where I'm going with this, then I don't know. <laughs> this, this, seems, this seems extraordinary how many of them I've got right now. A uh, bit of drink. Cool. So let's head out. We're going to continue through... Well, no, hold on. Let's save. I'm gonna try again this guy. I must have missed something over here. Because those are like two kilometers away. And it, it seems a bit like I need to go in and turn. Or something. I thought initially there was a cave or something going down into this that I had missed. And maybe I had here on the left? I'm better than any new spacesuit. I recommend just upgrading to current equipment. For example, paint the helmet. I'm sure it will help. What? I guess I go back and investigate that. I... What? Hey, and encrypt the tape. Tapes in coffins encrypted, something about the interphone. Okay. As with all things, I will just see if it unlocked anything here. Helmet covered with paint, radiation protection 75. Aluminium glass, four paint, two plastic. I don't think we have any paint here. But, I think I did see a paint container. I really don't know what unlocked that. Uh, if I wanted to get into the container up there, I kind of needed a new drill. And the paint container, I think, was up above here. It might just be water. Could just be water. I guess we could backtrack a bit, too, if we really need to. I don't think we need to, though. Not sure. This could also just be... Oxygen Cylinder Blueprint. Yeah, this is actually just nothing. Okay, 
Never mind. Well, we have a spare drill. Um. <clears throat> mm. Maybe we need it and there's a new something or other over there. Which the coffin might have unlocked. Okay. Well, we're heading out this way anyway, so this kind of works out. But you see how big this rock is? Like, I thought for sure there'd be a cave or a tunnel or something that I was missing. Like, it just keeps going. I thought, oh, maybe down the edges, but it also keeps going over there too. No idea. We'll just go there and see what happens. Or get distracted by this. Corridors for staff members in the business class can cause claustrophobia, although they are extremely convenient and compact. A corridor blueprint. You're really hyping, like, making bases and ships and stuff. I'm really looking forward to getting out of the tutorial because I'm a little bit convinced the game's humor and all that drops off and the gameplay really picks up when we get to that point. This tutorial section is dragging on quite badly. Like, we're going past the marker now. It's below me, but there's no... There's no way in or anything. There's this odd box looking thing. This is about when I had loaded the autosave, being like, there must have been something I missed. But the autosave is so far back, I had to play a lot of catch up. This is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Amazing. So I, I don't know. This, this actually seems to be just the wrong way. Hello? At least there's stuff here. This is looking right. We're coming around to it through the back then. All right. Or are we? Is it? Interesting. the dead end here. Well, what the... F what? Where is this damned thing? Ugh. Oh. I think I finally found it. So this is... This is to the side the of, of that dead end tunnel. Communication point or communication points from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. And it looks like the bottom one is open, so we could have... Coming through the bottom one, I guess. Or so. Oxygen? Someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally they had some battering rams for cars ah. of a ram? That's an interesting fact. The chance of injuring yourself with the electrical tape is 46%, which makes the dispenser the safest tool for useless construction. Inductor, dispenser, oxygen candles. Room. I can examine a Tomb Raider thing. Okay. Sure. The entered the module. Well, part I don't know, I want that. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressurization protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside. That we can leave. So... New things to make. It's kind of cool. A generator as well. Can be used at a station or in a vehicle bulky enough not to be carried around. Flashlight would work much longer if connected to such a generator. Okay. So a new flashlight... thing, I guess. And this guy trying to get into the... 
Whatever it was. Okay. What's this mark here? The service airlock. To be more precise, this was the service airlock. Unfortunately, now it's gone. But if you scan how its system works and get the necessary tools, we could try to repair it to pressurize the doors. Dispenser required. Okay. So we need a we need a dispenser to to do this then. Because I have a well, I have a repair tool. We don't care. All right. So how was I supposed to get here? Because I'm pretty sure I went the wrong way. Looks like there is a hole in the rocks out there. The airlock will make um red as like a I need to check it out still. Blue means cool. We can do things there. This is going to be my current objective though. We'll see how long I keep up with the color coding. I wouldn't make any bets. <laughs> Knowing me. There wasn't a, a crafting station here at all, was there? I'll take it. Nah. Okay. So back we go through what I assume to be a cave opening that was up above because I saw light piercing through. Over here. This is working autonomous oxygen station. A working autonomous oxygen station. Pipe. Nice little break point. I mean, I I sucked up oxygen a little bit earlier. I'm still working my way up to the hole in the ceiling. Less complicated than in the pleasure ships. Hold out steering wheel. So there's steering wheel two of four. You can connect an oxygen station here if I've understood the blueprint correctly. I uh... repair tool. Didn't actually cost a generator at all. Also plenty of just oxygen around, which is quite cool. Okay, cool. So this is neat. We'll, uh... have this marked, I suppose. As... green. Or blue? We'll go with blue. There's also... Something, something back there, a bit 300 meters out. Guess I'll take a look at it quick. We have oxygen here anyway, so it's not really, not really much of a, a problem, I suppose. Ah, oh, man, a lot of stuff to look at. And the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order coffin, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to note you're in great shape. Keep it up. You're almost not so bad. Like, why is he talking? What triggers it? Is there literally just a timer going on that just triggers him to say something random? But... Who cares? It's not... It's not funny to everybody. Why do you keep trying? This vacuum cleaner flew fast, but not for too long. Rocket vacuum cleaner, one of three. Okay. And 
and I filled it with the keyboard, I guess. So it's a hundred percent now. I don't I don't have any fuel, so I it seems like a little personal motorcycle type thing, I guess. Something was being assembled here. Fire extinguisher. I'll take it. I will eat and drink. First aid kit too. I'll pop that now. Yay! So we're in like perfectly good health right now. Feels nice. Photo of the liner. Oh. Okay. So just like a little pit stop area. Nothing else that I'm seeing anywhere. Flashlights. Way bright. Okay, so there's that. What are we calling this? Vehicles. Purple, I suppose. I need fuel for that. We'll keep that in mind. It's the way to more quickly get around. That'll help a lot for getting out to these places that are a couple kilometers out. Thank fuck there's an easier way to move around. Wasn't sure if we'd ever get a little ship type thing. Like, even just a little garbage one is fine. Something. Because these thrusters that we have really aren't that great. So, finally, moving back... through. I'll take a quick look at this before heading up. Ah, okay, I can also get out this way, too. So I just... Plain simple, just entirely missed the entire way through. Although with all the duct tape being here, I'm imagining this is through that tunnel that I was kind of already in a little bit. A shark mug. Om nom 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 nom. What a terrible mug this is. A dangerous predator, although in this case the predator just stuck to the floating remains. That would suck to drink out of. Also suck to clean. Ugh. Yeah, I just missed this entirely then, I guess. Not sure if I can bash these. Yeah. I had actually stopped, like, kind of just before. It turns out. Well, now I know. <laughs> now I know. Yeah, you're open. Eh, I can do something with them. Ah, it's grabbing it. I can turn it into electronics. Okay. I, I think there was also a right-click option, but I didn't catch what that was. That's also opened. Are we going backwards? No. Dispenser. It's like a tape dispenser type thing. Two metal, two tape, inductor, and a battery. 99 power. Okay. It's just a general generic build tool, I guess. And then resources, composite resources, there's an inductor, metal plastic wire. Another generator, alkali, electronics, metal, and wire. Okay. I needed a... I wanted fuel? Shut up, babe. Which was... Was it just resin? To make fuel. What do we call fuel? Ah. It's an item equipment, and also metal. 
one inductor. The refined metal I've got, tape I've got, and a battery. Should have two or so. Worst case, I get a little bit of metal and I can make one. Okay, just the one. Dispenser. Ugh, yet another tool, because we don't have enough tools, you understand. So now I can build stuff. Compartments, airlocks, research table. A breach chance. Cost power, cost oxygen. So it looks like I'd be able to just make like a small little something somewhere. Um, with just like an airlock type thing for the entrance. Power generator to make power for an oxygen generator. Pretty expensive to do and I'm not sure if you can disassemble stuff. At all. But it seems like it's kind of possible for us to build things now. Which is kind of cool. Will I? Not quite. I think I want to bring the fuel over to the uh, motorcycle looking thingy and get the main law repaired over there. Also, bash open these guys that I noticed on my way back. Since we have a little bit of space left. Drop off. Uh, uh. Might even make a suitcase, because we're pretty full here. <laughs> I, I got so many construction kits and stuff. Uh, yeah, a good bit of space in here still, though. That's okay. And I guess a scanner I can put away. I suppose I don't need that oxygen generator. Is still. Paranoid that I might want to hang on to one, but keep it off for now. The generator as well is just for base building stuff. Okay, fuel dispenser. We're okay to head back out. The fuel of the vehicle, a little oxygen stop point along the way, fuel for the vehicle, and then the dispenser on that guy. Look at us with stuff to do, man. It's nice when the game's not just berating me with commentary about God knows when I can actually set goals and do things, and I kind of have something of a grasp of why I want to do it, like I've got personal motivation to do this. Actual reason to do it, rather than the game just telling me to do it. The game seems to be self-aware that there's no reason for you to be doing this, but it tries to just take that as a joke rather than actually doing something about it. Very weird to me. Like, why would you make the conscious decision just to, just to do this and then make a joke out of it? I don't... I don't get it. And then, like, this garbage... Garbage social commentary that the game's got, thinking that it's clever and cute by having real-world references in it. Like, I'm playing a video game to get away from this garbage. I don't want to be thinking about it all the time. Quit it with the jokes, quit it with the real-world references, just make your own universe, stay in that universe. Ah. <sighs> It's just so sad. What I really like in a game like this is just the hands-off, free to explore. You see something, you can make your own assumptions and guesses with it, and it's just, it's all just in its world. There's no narrator telling you what's going on. It's just you and the game. That's what I prefer. That's what I would have liked to have a lot more with this, but it seems to just not care at all at, uh, about immersion or anything like that. It, it's just a missed opportunity overall. A real shame.